Cerberus here. Just thought I'd give you guys the grand tour of uh, one of my mob spawners. If you hear any clicking in the background, it's just uh, tech tracks being creative as he always is. So we'll just uh, we'll get started in the tour. Um, so this year. I know I'm in creative mode that just makes it so I can show you guys faster. This here is the spawner. It's approximately 50 blocks long, 50 blocks wide. And uh, this is the top view as you can see. All these poor little things are uh, spawning in the dry area. It's flooding. I'll take you for a little tour around that. And you should see some showing up shortly. Here, zombie, 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 zombie. Oh, there's some spiders over there. And what, that's it. That's a bad batch. Now, I did notice that it seems to be there's only a set number of uh, mobs in a certain area so you actually have to continuously kill them and then more will, will spawn uh, whether that's true or not I cannot verify yet but it just seems to be like that uh, there we go we got some creepers showing up so shortly this should flood there's a uh, do I have any arrows oh poor slime shot in the head with an arrow there we go he'll go down now okay so this should flood shortly yeah this is uh this is under water it's actually in a swampland oh here we go here comes the water now you're gonna see those guys all get pushed and there they go poor little things not and then the water, I'll, I'll bring you over there in a second. Yes, we can fly in creative mode, sorry. These blocks here, that's, um, that's happening from a, oh, what are those things called? An ender, enderman, that's it. So what's going on here is uh, I'm pushing all of them mobs into this trough this trough then has flowing water and it pushes them to the edge where they fall 21 blocks near death it then has a series of pistons they don't need to be sticky I just have so many slimes I figured I'd try it out it fun. Um, and then they, they go down there so we'll, we'll go down there shortly this is just something else I added. Um, I don't. I think that was a total waste of time. Uh, I'll be trying it again in the next uh, one of my other games. I'm gonna block this up. Get me here for a second. Okay. So the way this is working is a series of, or see, just a pile of redstone repeaters, redstone, and pistons. I'm actually energizing. You can see that there. And that will energize every piston at the same time. Alright. Now to bring it... Oh, there we go. Pistons are all energized. Now I'll bring you to the timer seen this timer in one of my other episodes and here we go we're just using pistons to push cobblestone and glass and there we go once the circuit once the glass hits the redstone circuit it allows the signal to go through therefore energizing or de-energizing the pistons depending on how you set it up all right so, the other side had to be the same, which is over here. Voila! 
more of the same. Now I used all repeaters here because I, I didn't know I could make it more efficient than that. Uh, the other side was more efficient, the side you seen first. So the next one would be a lot cheaper for me to build. All right, now we'll go to the kill zone. Uh, yeah, it's a big tunnel, big stairwell, whatever. It was fun. Okay, and we're going to game mode zero. Currently level 36. Any of the really nice artwork in here, done with the walls or whatever, that's all Vectrax. Yes, we dried out a water temple, or I dried out a water temple for the most part. And he went and cleaned it out, he used the blocks in my place. Those are actually all achieved through survival mode. So, here we go. As you can see, it's all aligned with obsidian, so if a creeper does blow up, it will not cause any damage. And yes, these are all, yeah, you can see I'm already at level 37, almost 38. This thing rocks out the experience, the machine. Uh, oh, just saw a creeper blow up there, killed most of the mobs, but did not cause any damage. And they'll just keep flowing through, so as long as you're a little bit patient. Um, one of the better spots to actually build these are in the swamp. Because then you get slimes. You don't get a lot of slimes anywhere else. So you need, uh, just the way I built this thing, slimes can't actually come through the, uh, you have to actually shoot them with an arrow. Boo hoo! You basically have unlimited arrows. And I'll show you some of the chests of loot, just, just for giggles. Oh boy. As you can see, there goes four skeletons and who knows what else just fell down there. Yes, I, my inventory is full, so what do we got in this one? Random loot, nothing special, more random junk. Ah, gunpowder chest, yes. That's a lot of gunpowder, I know, it's just garbage there. This here is a little vector room Vectrax made for me. Arrows. Okay, so here's my arrows. My arrows. Spider eyes. String. And yeah, we already gave a lot of string to villagers. Um, records. Armor. Slime. Yeah. Uh, and we already... Um, more gunpowder, kind of disgusting, I know. But anyway. Enchanted uh, armor, that's just for the killing. More rooms with chests. Enchanted armor, armor stand. Yeah, I know. Brutal. Some uh, nether, nether wart. And this here, this is my favorite little room here. These here were all zombie villagers at one point. We have, we have basically encouraged them to be normal villagers with the golden apple and a potion of weak, splash potion of weakness. So there's, there's sheep and cows and everything down here and uh, just, we're at minus 20, minus 25. Or that's like, yeah, so that's as close as to the surface as we are. Uh, we've used iron doors in here just to help keep the villagers and whatever else in the exact spots we want. And that basically concludes the uh, tour of my mob spawner. Very efficient, like you can see. Here, look at this. More of these little guys. It, I've been here, you know, from dying to have a fully enchanted diamond within like an hour. This thing works great. Alright, thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video. Thanks again everyone. Peace out.